Ciao, fellow Vita comrades, and welcome. Today we have something a little different. We are looking at the PS2 emulator for Android called Ether SX2 from average user perspective, and we are trying to find out if it's really that good. So let's get cracking. Straight off the bat, I can tell you three reasons why I think this is indeed the best PS2 Android emulator out there. Number one, it's for free with no ads, and all functions are readily available straight from the beginning. Number two, it is open source and fully transparent, with nothing shady going on in the background. And number three, the performance and the end user experience is top notch, cream of the crop. I can even add one more reason that I truly appreciate, you don't need to be online to use it. I hate when companies are doing this kind of crap, and I'm not using the word hate lightly, cause it truly pisses me off when they implement such unnecessary measures. I'm sure you just won't take my word for it that it is the best PS2 emulator out there and because of that I'm providing you some empirical evidence to support my claim. So here we go. Step 1. Go to Google Play Store and check ratings. Ether SX2 4.7 stars. Mm, very impressive. Now check reviews. Sort by most recent. Amazing. Excellent. Fabulous. Best emulator for PS2. Best app ever. Love it. <laughs> now let's check this app. Rating 2.3 stars. Check reviews. Sort by most recent. Total ripoff. Trash. Adware. Worst emulator ever. Waste of time. Go to hell game devs. <laughs> Scammers. I didn't want to give it a star, but Google forces me to. <laughs> I think now it's crystal clear. The more I see, the more I'm assured. Vox Populi, Vox Day. Also guys, if you are enjoying this video, like and subscribe, cause there is certainly more to come. Step 2. Install the emulator and try it out. If you've ever installed any emulator, this is basically the same thing. You're gonna need your phone, preferably something around Snapdragon 845, for the most enjoyable experience. Then you need BIOS, some ROMs, and some controller, cause you certainly don't wanna play it with touchscreen controls. Then go to Play Store, install the app, Load BIOS, load ROM, connect controller, and have a blast! Playing shitty games? That suck ass! I mean playing the best PS2 games from the past. You don't need to configure the controller, for majority of them automatic mappings <laughs> works absolutely fine. I'm using Razer Kishi with Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite. It's all the phone with Snapdragon 855. It even recently received update to Android 13 to my surprise. And I'm very satisfied with its performance and its 6.7 inch OLED display. Especially considering I bought it for 40 quid, it was cheaper, cause there is no signal, it doesn't read SIM cards, but as an emulation device it's perfect. Step 3. Experience the incredible world of PS2 Android emulation in the palms of your hands. Or in the palms of my hands in this case, of course. Even though my phone was released in January 2020, so 3 years ago, Snapdragon 855 is still doing an excellent job in uh, running even the hardest to emulate games, like God of War and Shadow of Colossus. Majority of games can be upscaled to like 2x resolution, you can push it even further, clearly it all depends from the phone you are using and its specs. My Galaxy S10 Lite was absolutely sufficient for all my needs. When I've seen some slowdowns, I've just changed the render from OpenGL to Vulkan or vice versa, and more often than not it was enough to get rid of them so I didn't even need to lower the resolution. But clearly every game is different. For example, I was playing Matrix, Path of Neo, and I've noticed there were some glitches with OpenGL, so I changed to Vulkan and everything was ok. It was upscaled at 2x resolution, the frame rate wasn't locked or anything, but the game was absolutely playable, and I had very hard time to stop playing it and to work on this video instead. Also, I haven't been doing any optimization, I've just installed the emulator and picked the default settings for optimal experience, cause I felt uh, that's what the majority of average users would do. They wouldn't tinker unless they would feel the need for it, and I haven't felt the need, so I've left it uh, like it was. And I'm sure you could've easily reached even locked frame rate if that's what you're after. God of War 2 at 2x resolution was also running very good, 
and that's quite demanding game to emulate I would say. Again not locked frame rates, but as I said I haven't tinkered at anything, and even at 2x with Snapdragon 855 and widescreen patch, it was as good as I remembered, nothing short of a masterpiece. Shadow of Colossus was a bit harder to run, but again very enjoyable experience with out of box settings. I started at 1x resolution and 4x3 ratio, and I think I ended up with 1.5x resolution and 16x9, and I couldn't put it down. If I remember correctly, I never even finished this game, but I remember playing it at a friend's house and that was very thrilling and chilling few afternoons. Need for Speed Underground 1 at 2x resolution with OpenGL and widescreen patch, pretty good. Some drop frame here and there, nothing major, but I'm gonna definitely check some tweaks for this one cause this is my favorite alongside Underground 2, which I was running at 1.5x resolution and 4x3. Devil May Cry 3 at 2x, running very good. Burnout 3 Takedown at 2.25x, absolute blast. Aggressive inline, very fun game, running at 2x, also very good. Ok, I think that would be enough as an empirical evidence to support my claim that this is the best PS3 Android emulator out there in 2023. And what do you think, is it? In my opinion, surely it is, cause as we all know, there are only two alternatives, but none of them is as appealing and as functional as Ether SX2. Also please keep in mind, it is still work in progress and it will keep getting better. This app is relatively new, but the updates released so far demonstrate creator's competency and ability to continue to improve. I'll surely keep playing it and installing new updates, cause it's simply pleasure to behold. If you wanna support Ether SX2 endeavors, Whoa. the best way to do so is to simply install go, it, man. enjoy it, leave them 5 stars a nice review at the Play Store and spread the word with the friends how amazing it is. If you are feeling extra generous, they have also Patreon, I will leave all the useful links down below as per usual. Don't forget to also support this channel with thumbs up if you enjoyed even this kind of different video and click subscribe to not miss upcoming ones. Thanks to developers for hard work, thanks to you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Oh no.